German black metal hails. Going back to my, going through my backlog, I was gonna say, comes one of those reissues which I want to present you here because it's a nice looking vinyl release and having vinyl week here in Rauta. Also, um, this is an album, it is rather interesting. Not only because it's a rather uncommon in style, but it also looks really great in vinyl. And that's why I want to show it to you. Music-wise, this is very much work in progress. Quite good, but still something that the band probably reads later on. Let's, let's unsleeve it first to uh, show you this uh, nice looking vinyl release. This came already out a few years ago, a few years later, however, than the CD release. This is one of those uh, released by Essential of Purification Records, as you can see in the middle. And band is obviously Stellar Master Elite. Nothing more inside. So what we have here is essentially the vinyl. Kind of a black classic take here. Seems already gathered some dust even after a few spins, or maybe it was there all the way. The funny thing is you really don't notice when you're just like looking at this, but when you bring it towards the camera, suddenly all these miniature particles seem to appear here. Weird thing indeed. Anyway, let's take a look at the band's Metal Archive site. Now the thing here is, all these three first albums got released um, on LP versions through uh, electronic purification, and not electronic. <laughs> uh, sorry for me going about with my words. Um, essential purification records, that is, I wanted to say. Uh, the thing is, when I originally got to know this band around 2011, it was this very, very uh, independent CD release. And it was quite okay. It still is maybe even a little bit better. But this uh, vinyl uh, repress, or should I say vinyl version, because this is not technically a repress, but a new version altogether of this album that came out in 2018 and arrived here in 2020. Um, this is way better looking. And uh, now that I was listening to it again, I kind of understand what I wrote about it in 2011. Now, when I say understand, I mean sometimes you notice that through the years, some albums seem better than back in the days and sometimes vice versa. Uh, some albums clearly haven't take that, uh, haven't stood the test of time and seem less good nowadays than back in the days. Anyway, uh, that is just natural thing to happen. Now, three new spins later, I have, I have to agree what I wrote back in the days. Uh, this is an interesting album because it sound, starts rather strongly. I mean, it's kind of a cosmic black metal somewhat uh, industrial vibes, a little bit atmospheric, and rather uncommon in style. But the thing here is, towards the end, it kind of seems to become more, say, sloppier. That is, the B side isn't exactly as good as the A side. Maybe this wasn't so clear with the CD spin, because after all, you just go through the 40 minutes or so with one go. But with vinyl, when you just have to flip the, the album between and you kind of notice that it starts so much stronger so basically if this was just a an MLP like with three tracks I would I would probably say this a little bit better than what this is as a whole because now it seems like the band clearly put the best material on the A side and the B side is more like hey nobody's going to spin or I mean flip the album while spinning the album Probably not so, but that's how it feels, because first of all, one track here features female vocals, and then we have this prelude, which is technically an outro. So it's it kind of makes me feel like uh, it's not very well balanced in that terms, those terms. Anyway, when it comes to production, this kind of a cosmic or a little bit industrial feeling just fits this album very nicely. And the vocals are pretty damn good, except for the female vocals, why which I don't really think they just kind of a fit here. Anyway, uh, Stellar Master Elite is probably a little bit underrated band. I know every band is underrated and overrated at the same time. That's what I keep 
saying to other people as well, because I mean, so many bands which seem underrated by one are overrated by the second person and so forth. But the thing here is, I think it's an interesting band because it has its own style. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's a Black Doom, because the Doom doesn't really exist there, but I guess it's a matter of opinion. Then again, I haven't heard every album uh, in the discography, mainly just the first one and the fourth one, and a little bit of the second one. That is, I'm spinning it, or was spinning it before this review, and then later on, and that will be later on reviewed here as well with the vinyl week. Uh, anyway, definitely an interesting band, something uh, a little bit different altogether in terms of being German black metal or black metal in, in the first place, atmospheric, but yet at the same time not in the way that so many other bands are. This is definitely more riff driven and yet at the same time it goes to these cosmic levels which are not typical in, in black metal, atmospheric or otherwise. And uh, I guess it's very fitting that the uh, band has taken its name from, from the band Thorns in Norway. Because while Thorns did all the way kind of industrial black metal, Stellar Master Elite is definitely closer to what could be seen as normal black metal. But still definitely having a little bit of a machine-made angle there. An interesting band and uh, I hope to see that the next two albums will be a little bit better. Because at least the Hologram Temple is a little bit better than this one. So uh, give it a chance. Uh, the music is already obviously out there given that this is already nine years old, an album. So, uh, looking forward to your comments. What do you think about this band? Underrated, overrated, or just not interested? See you soon with more reviews coming your way. Take care.